Hey everyone, it's Amy from Yoso Boho. Welcome back to the channel and a two-parter this week since this trip to the Goodwill in Chardon, Ohio was pretty lengthy and I thought I would chop it up and we would do part today, tonight, and then our normal Thursday night thrift. So you see us here in the Christmas section. I did buy something here. Unfortunately, I did not catch this on camera and I didn't even film it working <laughs> when I got it home, but it did work and it took two C batteries and it was super loud and obnoxious. Um, I got it up on eBay right away and it sold very quickly, um, probably for a little less than I wanted to sell it for, but I purchased it for around $3 and I took an offer of about 17 Nice little flip. Thought I should share, as well as some linens that I also didn't get on camera. So let me share those next. I had a few lucky finds in the linen area of the store. And for some reason, I didn't record there. There was a whole back part of the store that either I didn't record or I lost somehow. But these are the pieces that I wanted to share with you. This is a tea towel. Love the colors on this very kind of 50s 60s there is no signature or markings on this piece um i paid a dollar 99 we do really well with tea towels in the shop and i think this will go there probably with uh maybe eight dollars on it so that was first then i found this other tea towel that i love it looks brand new it i mean it's it's like it's definitely linen, it's stiff. It is a greetings from Canada with four bears, brown bear, polar bear, black bear, grizzly bear. The graphics are so great. I mean, it's been sitting somewhere for a while. I'm not even sure it has age. I'm gonna have to look up this and if I find something, um, of course I will share it. But what a wonderful piece. Um, again, probably go to the shop. Um, probably, and that's if it's vintage. Um, oop, here's a, yeah, I'll have to look this up because maybe this isn't vintage. The tag looks a little older, but we'll look this up and I'll share. Might go on eBay. This is definitely vintage. Found this beautiful square. I'm not going to roll it all out, but each each corner has a pretty butterfly on it. Really nice condition. I did see there's something on here. A little black. Hoping that I can get that out. It's, yeah, it's on the surface. So, but that's the only thing that I saw. No staining. The colors are nice and bright. It's a small piece. I'd have to measure it, but I'd say probably maybe 36 by 36. Um, so maybe a little side table, just really pretty. And that was a nice find. I paid like $3 for it. I think it was $3.29. Yep. That'll go to the shop. I'll probably put somewhere around 10, 10 to 12 on it. Maybe, maybe 14. We'll see if I can get that little black spot out. Definitely. And then finally, the piece of resistance <laughs> is this quilt that I found. And this is all hand done work. You can see by the stitching. This is all hand stitched. And this is a pretty complex, I'm not a quilter. I don't know a lot about quilts. I did reach out to a friend of mine who is a quilter to find out if this had a pattern name. Um, but... I do know that the pieces that aren't square, um, like, a, like a wedding ring quilt that has round pieces, it's more complex to quilt. Um, these pieces, the fact that every piece has to be kind of not square. Um, somebody talented, I think, put this together. And it definitely has a fall kind of feeling to it with the orange. I love it. Um, it is on the back side quilted with more of a spring fabric. Nothing fancy, just a backing. 
but it's fun that you can see all the quilting in here as well. All hand stitched. Um, obviously, I have a little bit more work to do on this, um, but it's a full size uh, quilt and it's in beautiful condition. I believe I paid, yep, $11 for it. Can you believe that? I mean, the amount of hours that went into creating this beautiful piece um, for $11. I mean, it just, to me, that's unbelievable. And I think somebody's going to treasure this. I mean, this would look beautiful on a wall. If you had this color scheme, you know, the greens and the oranges, um, was really, really happy to find that. And those were my finds in the linen area that I forgot to film. So pretty good finds. There were a couple other things in this Christmas section that I did want to share. There was a lot of stuff. There is always a lot of stuff in this Goodwill, and I, I love it. This was neat. This is a um, A Nudie, N U T I. You can see that there, 1949. Um, the mother, and that little heart there with the flames is called the Immaculate Heart. These do pretty good on eBay. There's not a lot of them, but I will share some. Um, I just didn't like the damage on her, or I would have picked her up for sure. This one in August of 2019 um, sold really well. But she was beautifully painted, and that immaculate heart on her um, was bright and vibrant. and This didn't seem the same quality. And then these these are Fitz and Floyd um, salt and pepper shakers. They're adorable, but I believe they had them both priced two ninety nine, which would have made them two nineteen. So four forty for the set. It's a little a little much. So I end up passing on those. This was weird. So just a piece of art glass, this shallow kind of bowl kind of vase thing with these protrusions that I'm, I'm not I'm not quite sure. I don't know if it was a student piece or what. I can't find anything like that. Um, I just thought, wow, to ship that would have been um, a little scary. <laughs> so I passed. This is a biscuit jar, depression glass, depression air biscuit jar, missing a lid. I would have scooped that up if it had a lid. I think, um, well, you saw the thing there. I think maybe Anchor Hawking made that. I believe Anchor Hawking made that. I'm seeing little dead stuffed animals on the floor. <laughs> oh, and then we find crackle glass. <laughs> if you saw last week's video, I found a nice little amber piece. This week it was blue. As you all know, if you watch my channel, I never pass up a crackle glass, a small crackle glass piece, <laughs> and this is no exception. I paid $2.19. This piece, because of its color, is probably a $12 to $14 piece on eBay with some shipping. I personally like the clear handles. This one has a blue handle, but that's okay. I'm starting a whole nother collection that I may end up selling on eBay, um, you know, maybe six to eight pieces in different colors. I've been watching some other ones that are like that. And, uh, you know, if it's if they make good money, I might be, you know, lotting them up because I'm paying just a couple of bucks a piece for them. So we shall see. I will keep you posted. I was intrigued by this little dish down here. Just liked the the iridescence on it. It it is an artist piece. Um, I looked up the website. This touch of glass. Seems like now they do more like wine bottles, flattened wine bottles, and some custom stuff. But that artist Carol, I think it was Carol Johnson. Um, she's still around and working. These did not have a stamp on them. I thought maybe they were. Um, like a Williamsburg piece. And this piece of Delft was cute. 
It's like this little hat with a painting on the inside of it. Not worth a lot. But darling, I, I ended up leaving that there. I really like the way that they lay out this um, this place. There's so much stuff there. But the end caps, they do a little color combination. And they do, they do a really nice job here. It's, it definitely has kind of a boutique feel to it. Now, granted, today was a little messy. <laughs> little uh, dead animals on the floor and frames scattered everywhere. Speaking of, I liked this piece of art. I was kind of bummed that it was damaged. Just like the aesthetic of it. They have a back wall that's full of art. And then this stack here. I liked this. I don't know why I passed on this. It was artist signed. Nadine Cost. I couldn't find anything on this artist. I think it was just um, an amateur piece, but beautifully done. And I think I should have got my loop out to look at it, but I'm pretty sure it was, you know, ink on paper there. Oh, and then I spotted this. And I struggled to get it out. <laughs> but I did. And it came home with me, so let's take a look at it. I think this was a really cool find. This is all hand painted. It is not signed unless it's under the mat somewhere. I'm not going to take it apart because it's very well framed. Um, yeah, I paid $6.99 for it. And everything that I'm seeing online, it looks like there are other variations, of course, of this theme. And they're not cheap. And, and even with prints, you know, if you go onto like art.com and buy a print, um, they're not cheap. But you can see here, this is not a print. This is actually painted. And I think it's very beautiful. The story is a story that was told by Buddha about these four friends. Um, the Harmonious Friends is what I've seen it uh, called. But basically, it's about respecting um, ages and wisdom of your friends and how the accumulation of wisdom based on age um, and effort can get you, like, the fruits, you know, the fruits of the tree. So, kind of a fun tale. And... This one, somebody picked this up in Bhutan. This is May 2002. Um, Timpu? Timpu? I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but I think somebody traveled there and brought this home. And now I have it. And that's a pretty nice thing. So I think this will be listed on eBay. And I'm not sure yet what I will price it at. I'm thinking maybe in the, I don't know, around $50, 60. <laughs> I'm not sure yet. I think maybe a little bit more work to do here when I'm basing it on other things that you can purchase out there right now. I mean, it's not, it's kind of rare and there's, there's not a lot out there that are original art like this. So I think I found something kind of special. After I put that in the cart, my aunt came over with this beautiful piece of brown drip. It's an old piece, which I think is likely Roseville RRP um, Company, which is um, not Roseville pottery in the sense of like art pottery, but the utilitarian stuff that was made here back in the early 1900s by the Ransbottom um, brothers. And we find a lot of it in Ohio. Oh, this guy was funny. He kind of reminded me of Grizzly Adams. I know I'm dating myself there, but I had to share that with my aunt. <laughs> you want a man in a in a bathtub? <laughs> just cracked me up. But yeah, we find a lot of the brown drip in Ohio. I think it's just because it was, you know, it was born here. So this was a neat piece and funny that it had the original sticker, sales sticker on the back. 
from the Hills Department Store. Um, so that's that's definitely vintage. We haven't had a Hills around here for a while. It did not have a barcode on it. That's always a great way to tell if it's kind of uh, before like 1973, 1974. Look at all the great stuff. There's so much to look at here. Like I said, they do a nice job. And I spotted this elephant over here, which I thought was brass, but turns out that it's pottery, just no. painted. It's modern. It's made by Apropos. Um, I haven't found this exact one, but I imagine he's probably a 12 to $15 piece. These are pretty. I like these nesting bowls here. There was just two of them. But the uh, sunflowers are very vibrant on them. However, my aunt had seen them before me and pointed out that the the edges on the top were really rough. Um, for the condition of the decals, I thought they would be in better shape, but they were not. We found this little carved wooden box. had a rhino on it. I ended up passing. I think it may have gone in my cart for a bit, but at $3.29, I think I could probably get 12 or 15 my aunt pointed out that this was a Lego piece. I had never seen a Lego piece um, in the wild. I've seen other YouTubers talk about them. Um, that one had a chip. I liked these guys. Um, there was a set of these monks or priests. And they do okay on eBay if you find one in good condition. Um, these were not in the best condition. One was better than the other, but we ended up passing. Then my aunt found this neat vintage ice bucket. It's made by Irvinware. Um, the sticker, the price sticker came off of it. Um, it's funny, I saw it fall in the video. <laughs> but at the time we were confused, like, how did it get way down there? <laughs> Has this faux kind of leather treatment. Um, she does have this listed right now on eBay. And I will link her eBay uh, store down below if you have seen anything that maybe she picks up she's she just started and she has somewhere between 50 and 70 things already listed um, wonderful things we're just talking about how important it is to look at the bottom shelf and we see these beautiful artist sign canisters they're quite large and they're quite heavy so <laughs> Purchasing them and shipping them would be quite a hassle. Not only that, but man, would you have to have a lot of counter space to have those pieces. He's a headless horse instead of a instead of a headless horse man. He's a man on a headless horse. It's a good one. Ha ha ha. My cousin Jenna says I'm not funny enough in my videos, so. That was, since she was standing right there, that was for her. <laughs> Talking about funny, what is this? A Florida tourist piece with just a cat and some key yeah. key hooks? It's kind of wild. <laughs> These were cute. This is a renewable wood company. Um, I think it's called like Fetco. These are hooks that you can use to hang photos from. And I, I like the way they looked. Um, but you can get some for between 11 and $15 uh, free shipping, so. What's with him? How did I miss him? <laughs> oh, yeah. This little guy reminded me so much of, like, the original Nosferatu, like, from the 20s. I think he was played by, like, Max Shrek. <laughs> I'll share a photo. Who was it? Um, Bella Lugosi usually played Dracula, but that reminded me of, like, the original. This was super cute. This is a Takahashi piece that my aunt found. Um, I don't think this is listed. I think she held on to this. But the glaze on this was just so sweet. I haven't seen many like this. I've seen a lot that they did um, that were more like the Amari stylings, painted in different colors. Hey, hey, get lit. <laughs> That was fun. But yeah, that cat was really sweet. 
not worth a lot. I mean, if she lists it, she'll probably get somewhere in the maybe $15, around $15. It's a nice little trivet. It was pretty rusty, though. What did I find over here? Did I find anything in the metal? Oh, yes, yes. I found this. This was a super cool find. This is a cast iron flower frog made by Dansk. Um, if you watch my videos, you know I run into a lot of Dansk stuff. I've actually found other Dansk stuff in this Goodwill, in fact, in the Chardon area. I love finding Dansk and people buy it. I have found several pieces of Dansk that um, when I list them, they, they sell pretty quickly. Um, I price them right though. I don't try and put them at the top top. You know, I try and turn them over. This is a piece of um, cast iron. I paid $4.39. So obviously somebody looked it up or recognized Dansk. Um, and I think I can probably get 30 for it. I think there's one other listed right now on eBay for 34 plus shipping. So I'll come in right underneath that. Um, sales comps are all over the place, but I think I, I think 30 is a fair ask for it. It's been used. There's a little bit of rust in the holes there, um, but overall it's in really nice condition. We're still in that metal area, seeing some brass things. He is adorable. Oh, and I found this. Look at this big brass boat. I was a little surprised because I flipped it over and there's an Inesco sticker on it. And I didn't even know that Inesco made brass, so I learned something new. What a cool find. I had no idea that I would see an Inesco sticker on brass. That's something that was uh, brand new to me. I think this is missing a wooden base that would hold it up, maybe with a, you know, two um, areas where it would sit in. I, you could probably hang it. I think maybe, you know, you could use part of the, the mast here to hang it. But I think it's meant to sit, and because of the round and bottom, it doesn't sit flat. You know, you'd have to <laughs> you'd have to lean it on something or have a base. So I'm gonna look around and see if that's something that's easy, um, an easy purchase, just a wooden base for a boat, um, because that would be great to sell with it. Um, or maybe you know somebody who would buy this um, would know exactly how to display it, but. What a great find. It's a nice big piece. It's probably, yeah, like maybe 16 inches wide, about a foot tall. Um, pretty. I have sold some mid-century modern boats in brass before. They usually have a marble base on them or they are meant to put on the wall. This one is not. So it's Mark 1984 on this Inesco sticker and I paid $4.39 for it. In looking at some comps, I would say maybe $30 or $40. If I find a display piece and can sell it, um, you know, to really stand up and display, I would probably ask a little bit more. So maybe in the $40 to $50 range, but really pretty. Okay, everybody, this is where we're at so far. Please come back on Thursday night for the second part of our thrift store adventure at the Chardon Goodwill. We will be adding a few more things to this pile. It was a pretty good trip. So take care, everybody. We'll see you in a couple of days. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think was our best find so far. Could be one of my things. Could be one of Beth's things. And be sure to check out her eBay store in the comments below. All right. Take care. See you Thursday. Bye.